Good morning, ma'am. I am Samiksha Varwar. Today I am going to explain you the water cycle. So for this, I have made this chart and a working model as well. So as you can see, this is a water body for the working model. It can be an ocean, a sea, lake, pond, anything. This is the land area. This is a farm, and this is the forest in which there are mountains and a river. This is the sky. Here are the sun and the clouds. So now I'm going to explain you the water cycle. So due to the heat of the sun, the water in the water body evaporates and changes into water vapor. This process is called evaporation. When this water vapor condenses and changes back into liquid water and forms clouds, it is called condensation. Next to condensation is when these type of tiny droplets make the clouds so heavy that they cannot hold it anymore and make them rain in, in in the form of rain or snow this process is called precipitation so as you can see this, this is the process of precipitation so again this water flows back into the rivers the rivers go, flow into the water body the water the water in the water body evaporates it is evaporation then condensation then again precipitation so this whole process goes on and on. So this is called the water cycle. Thank you.